Setting the right shipping policies on eBay is very important if you want to take care of your eBay seller account. And that is because eBay wants you to give the right information to your buyers regarding when we're going to receive our package and how long it's going to take us to provide a tracking number along with where the product is coming from. A lot of people are getting confused by how to create the right shipping policies when they're dropshipping from China and that's exactly what I'm going to be going over in this video. Quick intro and let's go. Let's start creating our shipping business policies to let our buyers know how long it will take the packages to reach them, how long it will take to provide tracking information and where the product is being sourced from. All of this information needs to be relevant to the items that you are adding to your stores and needs to comply with what your supplier on AliExpress can offer you. So there are many sellers on AliExpress and many of them have different shipping policies and different shipping times. So be always sure to check out how long it takes your sellers on AliExpress to ship out their products and then assign the right policies to them. But if you are researching great suppliers on AliExpress, most of them will have decent shipping times and we're going to create shipping policies for them. To begin, head over to your business policies on eBay. And if you don't know how to get to there, there are a couple methods that you can use. First, you can search for eBay business policies on Google and click on the first link that shows up. Here you have an explanation from eBay on their business policies. And here you'll have a link to the business policies. You can also click on the link to opt in. Now, if you've already created a listing on eBay, then you already have the eBay seller dashboard, which you can also use to reach your business policies. Here's how you can reach to it from your eBay account. On the top left, you're gonna hover over your name and click on account settings. Then you're gonna scroll down and click on business policies. So here we've got our business policies. We've got payment policies, return policies, and shipping policies. And right now we're talking about shipping policies. So what I'm gonna do is click on create policy, and then I'll click on shipping. First things first, we're going to give our policy a name. So in this case, I'll call it shipping from China. Then you've got your domestic shipping and your international shipping. So domestic shipping is how long it will take me to reach my domestic audience, my target audience, which in this case, it's eBay US. In your case, it can be something different. And then you've got your international shipping. So if I'm not drop shipping to the US to my target audience, I want to drop ship anywhere outside my domestic audience's country. And that is because I want to open up my listing to the worldwide audience where many people will be able to see my listing. I'll also show you how to do that. Let's start with the domestic shipping. So we're going to leave it on flat, same cost to all buyers. And then in services, we are going to scroll down and choose economy shipping from outside the US 11 to 23 business days. This is how long it will take the package to reach the buyer after we've provided tracking information. Now we have a few days that we can choose to provide tracking information, which is added on top of the total 11 to 23 business days. I will show you exactly what I mean in a minute. In the cost, we're gonna leave it at $0 and for each additional unit will still cost $0. In other words, we're providing free shipping. And this is something that we want to offer all of our buyers, even if the seller on AliExpress charges for shipping, when we want to have tracking information available, AutoDS can take the source's price and also the source's shipping price, combine it together and offer your buyers free shipping while still maintaining the profit margin that you set in your settings. So once again, even if AliExpress, even if the sellers there charge you for shipping, you can still choose in the AutoDS settings that you wanna always choose the cheapest shipping option as long as tracking is available. And then once again, it'll add those two prices together and will offer free shipping to your buyers. And any buyer would love to rather see free shipping rather than pay for shipping even if it comes out to be the same price in the end, it's a psychological effect and we wanna offer free shipping. Then we've got the handling time. And this is the amount of time that it takes you to provide tracking information. So once again, it needs to be the same as what our buyers on AliExpress can offer us. And that is why we wanna research the best sellers there when we're looking for products to sell. Now the handling time for most of the best sellers that we have on AliExpress, the sellers who have good reviews with great shipping, should usually ship out between three to four business days. Now, in this case, eBay says that it is excessive and not typical to have four plus business days to provide tracking information. And in this case, they will give your listing fewer visibility if you're going with four plus business days to provide tracking information. 
but we're still gonna take the safe road and go with four business days and once we see that our shipments are coming out and we're getting tracking information within the first three days then you can go ahead and change this to three business days but you'd rather start with four business days and then change it improve it to three once you know that you're good for it instead of starting with three and then getting a lot of late shipments which ebay does not like to see so start with four and see how that goes from there now let's add another bonus tip for you to make extra profits when getting orders from china so what you want to do here is click on offer additional service and on top of the economy shipping from outside the us 11 to 23 business days we're going to go ahead and scroll down and choose economy shipping from china 5 to 12 business days now why are we doing this this is because most of our packages are going to reach our buyers within 12 business days this is once again if we're using great sellers on aliexpress so you always want to check out your sellers reviews and see the total number of reviews that they are getting on their shipping speed if their shipping speed is 4.5 and up and they've been on the platform for over a year you pretty much have nothing to worry about so here you can go ahead and choose 5 to 12 business days and what we're going to do here is add an extra cost for that for example we can go with four dollars and 97 cents you can even go for cheaper prices just to get those extra sales first and of course you can definitely play around with this if you're making sales with three dollars and 97 cents then go ahead and upgrade it to 497 and then 597 and find that sweet spot that people are using they're still purchasing it and you're making that extra profit. So what's gonna happen here is you're gonna use the same shipping methods from AliExpress, and most of those good sellers are definitely gonna be able to ship out and deliver those products within 12 business days. That's on top of the four business days that you already have. So here we're talking about 12 plus four. That is 16 business days, not including weekends. So that is more than enough time for packages to reach AliExpress to your US buyers. But of course, keep your eye on it and see if there are any sellers that are not shipping out their products on time, remove them and replace them with better sellers. So with this neat little trick, you're gonna make an extra few dollars of profit and this is 100% profit because it is not costing you anything and that is a great tip from me to you. Now let's talk about international shipping. Since the majority of AliExpress Chinese sellers can ship worldwide, we also wanna enjoy those sales too. So in order to do that, what we're gonna do is enable international shipping by clicking on no international shipping and change that to flat same cost to all buyers and then what we want to do on the first ship too is change that to choose custom location and here we're going to go ahead and choose canada europe united kingdom germany france japan and australia now what we're going to do on services is choose economy shipping from greater china to worldwide and the cost here will be zero dollars so here you're enabling worldwide shipping to those countries at no additional cost for shipping and that is because most sellers on aliexpress are not going to charge you for that either when shipping to those countries next what we're going to do is click on offer additional service so after clicking on offer additional service click on the drop down and once again choose custom location and choose the same countries as above so canada europe united kingdom germany japan and australia now in the services instead of the economy shipping we're going to go with the standard shipping from greater china to worldwide and here we're going to charge an extra whatever you see fit let's go with two dollars and 97 cents so it's not too much but it looks like it's faster standard shipping rather than using economy shipping so that's just a little trick and it's up to you to do it and choose what sum you want to charge for that but once again it's 100 free profit without additional expenses and it's a great bonus to have now we're going to add one more additional service to those extra countries that we still can ship to but aliexpress is most likely the sellers are going to charge us for shipping to those countries so what we're going to do here is click on offer additional service choose custom location and this time go with north and south america mexico brazil and russian federation the only countries that we're leaving out is asia and china here what we're going to choose is the same as the first one which is economy shipping from greater china to worldwide and here we're going to charge an additional four dollars and 97 cents it should usually be a couple bucks or three bucks which is what aliexpress sellers will charge you and you're just going to make sure that you're not going to lose money on the shipping price so we're going to go with four dollars and 97 cents and an additional three dollars and 97 cents per extra unit now aliexpress is not going to charge you an extra for that so if your buyer adds a quantity of two or three 
you're going to enjoy that extra $3.97 times the item quantity. So these are great ways to also make extra profit on the side while also opening up your listings to the worldwide, meaning many, many people are going to see your listing and not just in one specific location like the United States. So more traffic to our stores, more sales, and extra profit on shipping services even though we're using the same. Next, in additional ship to locations, buyer contacts for costs. We will go ahead and leave it on will ship worldwide. And if any buyer from any country that we didn't specify would like to purchase our product, they can leave us a message on eBay and then we can check on AliExpress if the seller can ship to there and what the costs are and revert back to the buyer and make those extra sales. So we're gonna leave this on will ship to worldwide, buyer contacts for costs, shipping rate tables, we're gonna leave it blank as is. And the last thing we're gonna do is exclude shipping locations to make sure that those countries, those specific locations cannot buy from our store. And that is simply because AliExpress sellers will not be able to ship to them. So what we're gonna do is click on create exclusion list. And here we're gonna start ticking in the boxes for the countries that we do not want to ship to. So we're gonna click on domestic Alaska, Hawaii, US protectorates, and APO, FPO. This is of course, if your domestic country is in the United States. And down here in additional locations, we're also gonna click in PO box. So we don't wanna ship to any of these places or PO boxes that are worldwide. Next, under Asia, we're gonna click on show all countries. And here we wanna click in China because we don't wanna ship to China. They've got their own stores, their own dropshipping services. The products are coming from there. And we're also gonna click in Hong Kong. So we're gonna exclude those two countries from Asia. And we're gonna also show all countries in Central America and click in Puerto Rico, okay? Because we can simply not ship to there. There's a lot of problems when we try to ship there and we want to avoid any problems. So this is the way that we want to exclude our shipping locations. Then we're gonna click on apply. And that pretty much sums up how we're going to create shipping policies from Chinese suppliers like AliExpress. This is the best way to do it and continue optimizing it from here, depending on what types of sellers you're gonna get from AliExpress. But most of the good sellers are going to be able to provide these conditions, which means that you can provide them to your buyers and there will not be any problems whatsoever. And you'll also enjoy those extra sales from worldwide and enjoy the extra profits from faster shipping methods, even though we are using the same shipping methods ourselves. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to always stay updated and learn about your next step in dropshipping. Don't forget to comment below if you have any questions or answers and I will answer them. Thank you for watching and good luck with your eBay business policies.